biggest crouton I ever saw was this big. It took three guys to lift. So if you and your friend wanted to lift up this crouton, you'd still need another guy. That's how big the crouton was. The guy who owned it kept it in a shed wrapped in velvet. And if you wanted to see it, he'd take you there, but it cost you $15 cash down. And he had to be drunk. <laughs> drunk so he wouldn't know where he kept the crouton. They called him Old Daryl, even though he was only 18 years old. It's one of those names folks hoped he'd grow into. <laughs> sort of like uh, Hank, you know. And old Daryl loved his crouton so much that it worried his girlfriend, Hazel. A name that no one ever grows into. <laughs> And one day she said, you know, old Daryl, I think you love that old crouton more than me. Well, there's the door, he said. And at that, he motioned at a large hole in the wall that he intended to build a door into as soon as he got some tools. So the fight ended in a compromise. He decided to buy her a humidifier. <laughs> and his fate would have it as they were out that night. Some kids, kids, I guess, about, about your ages, your sizes, smells, uh, hair color, and ethnocentric background. <laughs> We're out in the midst of a rango tangled devil may care spree, and they happened upon the crouton shack. They broke right in. They claimed they were looking for Mother's Day gifts. <laughs> but I don't believe that, because as soon as they saw that crouton, they had their little Swiss Army knives poised and started hacking away at that beautiful crouton just to garnish their selfish salads. And then they skedaddled as mysteriously as they came. They were kids a lot like you. And by the time old Daryl came home with the humidifier under his right arm, that crouton, once mighty and towering, was now the size of, say, a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> And if you had been there in the middle of that Monday night, you might have heard the sound of crying. Male crying, the rarest kind. <laughs> Nowadays, old Daryl, well, he looks his name. Because people don't come to see that crouton no more. Just teenage girls who want to use it for earrings. <laughs> And when he and his woman aren't buying lottery tickets, he's out looking at that shack, just remembering. Yep. So, any of you kids married? 